Before the theatres were built, plays were given in the courts of inns. However, since the actors had to share the proceeds and often had to relinquish the inn courts to other entertainments, they began to build their own playhouses, often locating them outside the city walls to escape censorship and other impediments of the city council. The early theatres were modelled on the inn courts. The first structure erected solely as a theatre was built in 1576 in London. By the time Shakespeare became prominent 20 years later, there were three additional playhouses giving performances several times a week. The theatres were the Rose, the Theatre, the Swan and the Curtain. The famous Globe and the Fortune were built in the late 1590s. They acted there nothing but plays of the Holy Scripture or saints' lives, and that without any certain theatres or set companies, till about the beginning of Queen Elizabeth's reign. They began here first to assemble into companies and set up theatres first in the city, as in the inn-yards of the Cross Keys and Bull, till that fanatic spirit banished them thence to the suburbs. This priory of Holywell was surrendered in 1539, and the church there being pulled down, many houses have been built for the lodging of noblemen, and near thereunto are builded two public houses for the acting and show of comedies, tragedies, and histories for recreation, whereof the one is called the curtain, the other the theatre, both standing on the southwest side towards the field. The father of us, Cuthbert and Richard Burbage was the first builder of playhouses and was himself in his younger years a player. The theatre he built with many hundred pounds taken up at interest. The players that lived in those first times had only the profits arising from the doors, but now the players receive all the comings in at the doors to themselves and half the galleries from the housekeepers.